Maryland Senator Barbara Mikulski escorted by Kimbrough Commander Colonel Danny Jagab during Monday's grand opening ceremony for the new Fort Meade Wellness Center. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, an important message from the European Medical Command and the Y is inviting military spouses to their annual women's wellness retreat. Details in a moment, but first, on Monday, Fort Meade opened the Army's 16th Wellness Center. Guest speakers included Congressman John Sarbanes and both Maryland Senators. Senator Barbara Mikulski related how the Wellness Center and Healthy Base Initiatives got started. We just think that Team Meade is one of the most important bases that there is. What we're announcing today is this wellness center. Now, wellness centers have a gushy poo sound to it. It sounds like Dr. Oz meets camouflage. <laughs> but really, this is part of a very long march that really started with the head of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral Mullen. And Admiral Mullen, as he looked at his United States military, really wanted to make sure that they were absolutely resilient and that they needed to have what he called the total fitness endeavor. And he not only wanted it for the men and women who were the war fighters, but also wanted to make sure that our families and the, and the children of the war fighters also were developing these resiliency characteristics. Because they're not only important to the military, but they're important to our society as a whole. Congressman Sarbanes added that the wellness centers represent a shift in focus from treatment to prevention. Really at the center of all these efforts over the last few years around health care reform was this idea of turning our health care system towards prevention and primary care. That for too long, too much of our health care system is about uh, treating people after they're already sick uh, instead of keeping them well. Senator Cardin echoed this sentiment and says the wellness centers will serve as a model. The, the men and women who join our military are, are more conscious of their own personal health because they understand that their mission in many cases depends upon their ability to be, for their body to respond. So they know that those extra pounds, are, they're gonna be, there'll be a price for that. And they know that they have to keep themselves healthy. But as time goes on, sometimes we lose that focus. And this wellness center will help return the focus to make sure that we do what's right for ourselves and our families. What's done here at Mead will be a model for our nation. The center offers service members and civilians core programs like health assessment reviews, healthy nutrition, stress management, and much more. We'll have more on the wellness center on next week's edition. Elsewhere, the Europe Regional Medical Command is notifying patients that received an incorrect prostate screening test between August 2000 and May 2012. More than 3,000 patients that received tests at medical treatment facilities in Germany, Italy, Belgium, Kosovo, and U.S. Central Command, supported by the Launchstool Regional Medical Center, have been identified. The European Command has set up a hotline. You can call DSN 314-590-8889. There are commercial numbers for Germany and the U.S. as well. The Wounded Soldier Family Hotline can help also. For more information and links, go to www.armymedicine.army.mil. Meanwhile, we're sticking with the wellness theme. Camp Letts is a 219-acre YMCA camp located just minutes from Annapolis, and every year they offer a Women's Wellness Weekend. The Women's Wellness Weekend on October 12th and 13th is an annual retreat for women ages 21 and above. It's full of speakers, workshops, great food, and much more. This year, Camp Letts is reaching out to the local military community by offering to cover the costs for 50 spouses of deployed or wounded warriors. They're also offering a children's program for single mothers. For more information on Camp Letts' 18th Women's Wellness Weekend, go to www.campletts.org. A quick reminder before we go, the 704th Military Intelligence Brigade and the Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Office are hosting this year's Hispanic Heritage Month observation. This year's event is coming up next Wednesday, September 25th at 1130 in the McGill Training Center. This year's guest speaker is Colonel Irene Zopi, Commander, Strategic Intelligence Group, Bowling Air Force Base. As always, admission is free and open to the public. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. Before I go, a quick message from Defense.gov. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.